In this video, we'll look at whether SF6 is polar or nonpolar. This is sulfur hexafluoride. The first thing we want to do is look at the structure for SF6. So we have this sulfur, we have six fluorines around it. Sulfur can have more than eight valence electrons, it's called an expanded octet. So this is the correct structure. What we want to look at, these individual bonds here, we're looking at the difference in how the electrons are shared, these electrons in this bond, this pair of electrons between the sulfur and the fluorine. Sulfur's 2.58, that's its electronegativity. Fluorine's 3.98, so that's a pretty big difference. These bonds between the sulfur and each fluorine, they are going to be polar bonds. But let's look at the symmetry of the overall molecule. Let's look at its molecular geometry for a moment. So the purple, that'll be our central sulfur. And remember, we had six fluorine atoms, no lone pairs. Let's put all the fluorine atoms on. One, two, three, you see them spread out. Four, five, six. So we end up with this molecular geometry. It's called octahedral. And even though these individual bonds here between the sulfur and the fluorine atom, they are polar bonds because the electrons will spend more time with the electronegative fluorine. So even though the bonds are polar, overall, everything is in pointed in opposite directions. It's a symmetrical molecule. That means they cancel out. And SF6 is a nonpolar molecule. This is Dr. B figuring out whether SF6 is polar or nonpolar. It is nonpolar because it's a symmetrical molecule. Thanks for watching.